Hello YouTube, this is Travis Dunn with MDL and this is my vlog for February 20th, 2016. So it's been a couple of weeks uh, since I have done a vlog, I apologize for that. I'll be honest, I have been sick and uh, I, I've been, I've had an inner ear infection for the past almost two weeks and uh, I, I just haven't, I haven't felt like putting one together. Um, and, and to be honest, I have been really busy. Uh, we've been running around quite a bit and uh, and I've been working on trying to get quotes for uh, getting the furnace and air conditioning replaced. So it's just, it, it's been a whole lot of fun, let me tell you. So uh, to get on with it, um, Valentine's Day was uh, last week and uh, me and the wife did something a little out of normal for us. Uh, we actually went out. Uh, normally, uh, I, normally I don't really want to go anywhere and most of the time we're usually both working uh, this was one of those rare moments where it, it, neither one of us was working and she wanted to do something special so I uh, I said you figure out what you wanted to do and, and I'll, I'll go for it I'll be fine so uh, we went to a restaurant um, and so uh, it's one we actually had never been before and I actually got to try uh, buffalo for the first time. It's an interesting meat. Uh, I uh, I would agree that, and the only way I could I could explain it, and it's the way that that usually most uh, people try to explain uh, the the flavor of buffalo. It, it's a richer meat, and 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 I know that's not a very very descriptive form, but that uh, if you like steak, you you'll most likely like buffalo unless it's made poorly. Um, I really couldn't, if you put two of them in front of me, that only now that I've actually had it, I, I probably wouldn't, I would have said it was a better tasting steak. Uh, I probably couldn't have actually pointed out which one was actually buffalo. So, um, you know, it, it, it kind of sucks for me because I am not a traditional steak eater. Uh, I like my steaks pretty much well done. I will do a hint of pink in the middle. Um, but I, I can't I can't do I can't do medium I can't do uh, you know pretty much the traditional slap it across the grill and call it done. Uh, Doc is is definitely one of those people, but I just like I said I like my steak well done, and um, and I, and that was probably my my biggest disappointment as it came out and I took the first bite and went eh it's just doable it was it was doable on that first edge bite. Uh, but then I decided to cut in the middle and I went, eh, shit, <laughs> way too pink in the middle. Um, and I hate sending food back. I really do. And, and I, but I sent it back and they put it on the grill for a little bit longer and brought it out. And it still, to be honest, wasn't done, um, as well as I would have liked, but it, you know, it was kind of on that borderline. Definitely, at least it wasn't bloody. I could I can't do bloody. And even the steak the first time, um, it was just to the past point of being bloody. And uh, like I said, that's, that's too pink for me. So, you know, go figure. But otherwise, uh, it was a good meal. Um, it was expensive. Uh, we, we, we did reservations and all that good stuff. So uh, if you get a chance to try buffalo, it, it's great. But it, it don't, you know, that was a $30 plate <laughs> for, for some buffalo. And I had a New York... New York strip style uh, steak, so yeah, go figure. It was uh, I always wanted to try it. It was kind of on my bucket list of uh, foods that I've never eaten before. So, uh, and then after that, we uh, we went to a movie. Um, went to the AMC theater off of Sawmill Road, and let me tell you, uh, you would think uh, the one in Easton, in Easton, for anybody who doesn't know, is is a mall at uh, uh, semi high end. Uh, it's kind of all in one area, and they have in the middle of the indoor portion of the of the mall is a uh, AMC theater, and it's a really popular AMC theater. But let me tell you, this one on Sawmill, it had it had uh, powered reclining chairs, and and I mean it was great. It was it was all aw I mean it was probably the best seating I've ever sat in for a movie. Um, and, and if you can't tell from the border. Uh, we went and seen Deadpool, and um, here's where I will sort of splash a spoiler alert. I won't try to spoil it too much, uh, but 
you know, it's an awesome movie. Obviously, it was rated R, and my son was like begging to go see this movie. He was actually kind of mad that we were going to go see it, but it was kind of the movie I wanted to see. My wife was kind of like, eh, I kind of want to see it, but you know, obviously, she she wasn't didn't know a whole lot about Deadpool. And I can't say I know a lot about Deadpool, but I know enough about what Deadpool is and, and his character um, to make it, you know, to know what what's going on in the story. And we, uh, so, but yeah, it, let me tell you the first thing. It is absolutely not kid-friendly at all. Um, if you have a problem with kids seeing sex scenes and things like that, they took the rated R to the limit. I think they, there was probably some scenes that they cut out to, uh, you know, to, to clear back, uh, clear past that, that R rating. Um, and you can tell that Ryan Reynolds really enjoys playing this character. And, and I, honestly, he, he was born for this character. And I, I just, I almost can't believe they made this movie, but it was just so great. It was so cheeky. Um, the comedy was, was spot on for Deadpool. And, and, and that has to be, that's the part you have to understand. Deadpool is, is an anti-hero, anti-hero. He's very, you know, very, you know, curse. He's very, uh, coarse. He's like, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> and, and that's just the character he is. He, you know, it was, his character was originally sort of a joke and it was so popular that they did a whole series on it and, and, he has become a part of the Marvel universe, and, um, and you know, honestly, he he's a character that has played um, played with the X Men. He's played with the Avengers. I mean, he him and uh, Wolverine have had back and forth over the years in the comic books. So, um, but it you know it was an origin story, and and it kind of makes it a joke uh, that it's a love story, which is kind of cute considering it came out the same weekend as Valentine's Day, but. Uh, absolutely great movie, and and I would certainly say if you're if you're even a remotely a fan, or or you know you you have a bit of a sick sense of humor, you will enjoy this movie. Um, if you're a little stiff and as far as you know what you consider comedy and what you consider funny, you're not going to enjoy this movie. It, it is it is it is very harsh for for somebody who who doesn't enjoy, um, you know, like Richard Pryor, um, old Eddie Murphy, raw, delirious style of, uh, comedy in a way that that would be, if I had, if I had some other way to describe it, I would, but it, you know, it's, it's dark, it's cheeky. It's very, you know, it's, it's almost 12 year old, uh, with a foul mouth, um, complex that's that's about the best way i can i can describe the comedy me and the wife enjoyed it and even she's like i, I enjoyed that far more than i thought uh that she would that, that, I, that she said she would have. and um and like i said she get, went into knowing pretty much nothing about deadpool um but yeah it, it, like i said very enjoyable movie uh and a lot has been everybody's been like well no everybody's going to think that you know because it's 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 you know made a lot of money for this type of movie it's made a lot of money um it's like the top grossing r-rated movie for the for the weekend i mean it, it's beaten records so if that tells you you know how well the movie's doing you know and everybody's worried about you know how they'll try to copy the, this into other you know Marvel movies, or specifically X Men style movies, and a I hope they don't because this is a very specific genre, you know movies like Kick Ass and things like that. There has to be a specific character. You can't just throw a Wolverine into this full uh, into this full genre. You have set precedent for certain characters. Um, Deadpool, we knew he was going to be, to be a proper Deadpool, it was going to have to be rated R. It needed to be, um, to be that. And, and, and like I said, they pushed it all the way to the limit. Um, my wife, and in fact, I've heard other, uh, some other discussions when talking about the movie, um, that you may actually, and I didn't, I didn't catch it, but I was kind of paying attention to the girl, but 
supposedly you do see uh, Ryan Reynolds' uh, frontal section would, would be the proper term uh, for just a split second in a couple of scenes in in in, in, uh, in the movie and uh, it, like I said though it, it's a good movie you know like I said if you're into that go see it it's worth it's worth going to see um, like I said we we enjoyed it thoroughly so uh, and I talked about a little bit of this uh, I've been talking about you know uh, getting quotes for for heating and air conditioning at home and uh, we're just about down to the finish part. Man, is it, some of these quotes are just, you know, the, the first one I, the first one I kind of knew was going to be high because of the brand, but we've had a few others and, and we've had a couple that are closer to our budget, but the other ones have just been way past here <laughs> in the budget. Um, you know, we're talking somewhat up to almost 10% of what we owe on the house. Uh, one quote, uh, if I got what I would like to get in a, in a furnace and sensorware, uh, and this is the first quote, it would have almost paid off uh, my new car, if that tells you anything. Uh, we're talking all, you know, just under $9,000. I mean, it was, it was in the mid eights. Um, you know, I'm trying to get four and 5,000 and, and we're close to that money wise. Um, what I have now, you know, about a month, I think I can, I'm figuring in April I should be able to uh, to make up the remain you know in the, the basically the last few hundred dollars um, I should be able to make up for so I'll be making that decision very very soon I think I'm gonna call one more company have them come in um, I've kind of been going down the list of brands basically um, I did have one person uh, give me a reference uh, to somebody and um, he was actually one of the one of the two that are in the ballpark as far as uh, as far as money goes so um, and I'll talk about a little, a little bit more I'll probably do like a separate video talking about you know some of the things to look for in, in, in that type of situation because um, there is a lot of uh, bits and pieces that you have to consider when uh, when you're having that type of work done so um, uh, we, I've been having some issues with the cats in, in the past week and a half. In fact, uh, just as I started to do this vlog and I had to start over, my wife messaged me again. The cat has been peeing on, one of the cats at least, has been peeing on our bed. And I think it has to do with the cat litter. Um, my son, who's in charge of you know cleaning and changing the cat litter, um, he let it go a little too long on the scoop. You know, Obviously, I got two male cats using it. And I think that's what started it. And then the wife bought a different litter than we normally do. She bought the lightweight stuff, which I don't really like, but she, you know, it was just kind of like, you know, grab it. Cause for some reason, every time we need cat litter, it's out of the, the stuff that we like to buy is completely out of stock. When we don't need it, it's set in, there are piles of it on the shelf. It's just, apparently we're on the same routine as everybody else. And I need to try to get us off that routine. So we, we we're a little stocked up. Um, Hopefully this week I can uh, we can get all that that taken care of. But so if, for the third time now the cat has peed on the bed, and it's it's driving me crazy. I've I've steam cleaned it twice, and I've I've bought some urine spray, scenty, you know, get rid of the smell stuff. And now I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to do the bed again. Uh, I was kind of planning on it anyway just to make sure it was good and clean, but now I'm really gonna have to do it. I may have to do it a time after that. Uh, and I'm not real happy about it. And it's interesting they're they're doing it on our bed and no one else's bed. Um, but you know, obviously they're you know they're especially it's probably because of my wife. They're those two are attached to my wife more than they are anyone else in the house. So they're 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 being nasty about it, and um, I'm going to have to uh, teach them a lesson as far as you know not not doing that. And I already. I already rubbed one of them's nose in it, but I'm gonna have to grab both of them and make that point that that's not okay. Um, but uh, the sun's gonna, he was supposed to, and the thing is the sun was supposed to change the litter tonight and didn't. And, and I'm, gonna, I'm gonna have a discussion with him with my foot. <laughs> uh, but anyway, um, so I, I, I ordered the batteries for my camcorder so I, I ordered four new batteries. 
uh, and I'm getting from the from the initial reading from the initial charge looks like about roughly a little more than two hours of, 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 t of video recording time uh, we'll see how they actually play out um, I've only been I haven't like I said I haven't been shooting anything so um, that's uh, that's certainly something that uh, I hope to change here very soon um, I've also been working on the game room some more I got I got the third book case um, sometime and I might even end up talking to my stepdad and help me do it this weekend I may I may put the shelf that I've I've been talking about that I want uh, for that room we'll, uh, we'll see what we'll see what happens um, I also got to, uh, I got a, a fat gecko single thing mount uh, I've been experimenting a little bit with it the quality's good the mount itself is good but yeah, I'm, I'm getting a lot of vibration in it and I'm gonna try a couple of different positions and, and I gotta learn how the you know what the way the, the mount works best. So that'll be a, that'll be fun. Um so this weekend, in fact technically today, um since this is early morning on Saturday, I'm um I'm gonna go to the Easy Rider bike show. Uh, I'm going to go with my stepdad, and he actually invited me. Uh, apparently, he got some tickets from work because uh, he he works for Budweiser Distribution. They're obviously a a sponsor of the event, and uh, so I'm going to go. Um, I'm going to take the camera. I'm going to shoot some video. Um, it's going to be it's going to be a very very light video. Probably uh, I'll do some I'll do probably an initial walk, then do some video shooting of, of the stuff I find interesting. And then, and then me and him will just hang out and do some fun stuff. I figure him and I will go out to eat. Um, you know, him, him, and, him and my mother have not been doing well to, right here the last few, well, not really for the last year and a half. And so I'm, I'm, I'm sure he's wanting to get away and he needs somebody to talk to. And uh, so I'm expecting that to come. Um... <sighs> I know there's a whole lot more that I wanted to talk about. I'm trying to, I'm trying to, trying to put it all down. It's one of those things. It's like a lot of times I'll, 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 and I won't call it a script, but I'll call talking points. This time, because I haven't done one in a while, I just wanted to get one done and, and get it posted. But uh, yeah, I mean, sometimes I like to do that just because I don't necessarily like to do them here when you know when I'm working, but. I had a quiet moment. I technically have a lunch, so I thought I would, uh, I would do one and and uh, get it posted. Because like I said, I, I know I hadn't done I've done one in a, in a few weeks. Um, you know the the thing is that uh, Apple recently uh, has been basically a judge just trying to make Apple unlock a uh, iPhone that apparently one of the sh um, shooters in San Bernardino. Um, and I, I I truly think it's wrong, and 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 we and people need to really think about. You know, I, I've been I've been seeing a lot of posts. Um, obviously, a lot of news organizations have been talking about it, even on Facebook and things like that. And you know, a lot of people's like, well, yeah, it's 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 national security, it's terrorism, blah 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 blah. They should they should they should unlock it. Well, for one, they spe very specifically designed the more recent iPhones. So that that can't happen, and that is for several reasons. One, because Apple has tried to get into government contracts, so there's a certain level of security that is required um, to for those devices for those type of devices. Why BlackBerry has been has been very popular with the U.S. government, um, and you know, a lot of a lot of them use that because of the security. It's very secure. Um, and they have they have a lot of control in in you know in uh, the data flow and how it all works, and, and Apple's been very much trying to get into that now. Also, with things like Apple Pay and, and a lot of the the mobile device pay options, it needs to be very secure to prevent them from being sued or or whatnot because of uh, possible security leaks. And, and then third, it's just it's good business. I mean. You know, people don't want the the government snooping uh, on every little thing they do, and 
but anyway, the, the, a judge tried is, is trying to order Apple to unlock this phone uh, because it is locked, and under, after so many tries, um, it's one of the ones that's set up that it will it will basically self detonate after a certain period of time or after a certain number of failed attempts to unlock the device. And for the most part, Apple said, as of right now, nothing exists. It would be it not only would be very cost prohibitive for them to develop a very specific operating system for this one phone um, that they'd have to force update, and, and there's, a, there's a lot involved, and, and I won't get into the super technical battle, but, um, and, but if that software made it out in the open, it would not only would destroy the company in a lot of ways, but it, it, you know, it, would, it would allow anybody, government or not, to unlock an iPhone. And I think that, you know, the government just needs to, they need to leave it alone. The, you know, the thing is, and this is the funny thing, like, there are companies that, that have paid, you know, that you could, that, that unlock uh, encryption on, like, movies and stuff. So people can copy them, uh, make digital versions to, to play on their, devi their, their personal devices. And, and, you know, I'm not even talking about, you know, Torrenting and all that stuff. I'm not. I'm not. Not even getting into that discussion. But I'm just saying for personal use. And you know those companies have been shut down and 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 sued out the ass because of them breaking encryption. Because the the laws are that you cannot break encryption. It is. A, it is. It is technically illegal to break encryption. As long as you're, you know, as long as this personal person trying to do it, you know, trying to do another company's encryption, you know, and um, software that, that I really enjoyed using, uh, DVD Fab, uh, was one of those companies. It, you know, they, they provided a program that would allow you to, uh, it would break the encryption on a disc, Blu-ray, DVD, whatever, and allow you to create either backup copies or to create digital copies that can be used on, you know, uh, like if you if you wanted to create a home media server or whatever, so it could be, you know, so it could basically create digital versions of, of those movies um, that you can personally use. And they basically got a cease and desist from the U.S. government and said, you know, uh, you, you can't do this, it's against the... Digital Millennium Copyright Act, but essentially that's what the government is. The government is asking Apple to break the law, to break the Digital Millennium Copyright Act on themselves. And I guess you know, technically, to break your own encryption isn't illegal, but you know they're asking them to do something that that shouldn't be done. It's that's what encryption is meant to do: is to protect the data on the device. And, uh, yeah, I just, I think it's wrong, and, 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 and like I said, a lot of people don't, don't get that once, you know, it's like the, it's like the Patriot Act. I mean, look at, look at all the craziness the Patriot Act is, is enacted. I mean, we got now, uh, the NSA has spent billions of dollars on a, on a, basically a big data storage facility designed to hold our personal data. Our phone calls, our text messages, our internet traffic—they're they're logging it, they're 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 saving it, they're doing whatever they they want to do for it, in the name of you know protecting us from terrorism. And there's going to be a point where that's going to—it's not going to be about terrorism anymore. They're going to count. They're going to they're going to think anything. You know, people who talk about bad about the government, people who talk talk about bad about a senator or a congressman. Um, they're going to be labeled as terrorists, and uh, that people don't realize that day will come. And you know the the founding fathers knew that. You know that's why it's in the Constitution. When the government no longer serves the people, it is it is the right of the people to overthrow the government. That is actually in the Constitution. Um, you know they knew that that. that that it was a possibility that they couldn't create a perfect government, and uh, but you know that's a I guess a topic for another day. Um, 
I also did get an ODB2 uh, Bluetooth device uh, so I could use uh, Torque on my phone. Um, I've been trying to figure out these weird, crazy issues that that uh, that's been going on with my phone or my car. Um, for some reason, it, it's charging. Well, it's not always charging at a high rate, but most of the time, it's charging between 14.8 and 15.3, which is really way higher than it should. Um, but it does seem like when um, it's in the low charging mode, I start, I, you know, I have a lot of like flickering lights and, and things like that when it's when it's 13, 8 to 14, 14, 2, 14, 3, which is really where a normal car would be. And uh, I have a feeling I have a, a bad ground or a bad power cable somewhere. Unfortunately, with the weather the way it's been, I just haven't had both the time, you know, or, or like I said, it's not it's not really been warm enough um, to this. Well, technically yesterday, but my today, um, it finally hit 50 some degrees. In fact, my car was just, was pretty much due for an oil change. So I was like, I'm going to do it. I rushed through it, got it done before work and, and I need to do it to the wife. So I'm going to try to squeeze that in this weekend. I'm going to have to pick up, uh, pick up some oil on a filter for her car. I've had mine for a little while. In fact, that was the reason the car went in the shop the last time in, in December was uh, was because I went to change the oil and found the oil leak around the, the bottom of the engine. So, um, I would like to get a little more interesting with some of these vlogs. I'd like to be able to do more of a rolling vlog instead of just, just a sit down vlog. Um, but it, it's so time consuming and, and there's so much boring in between and my, my phone, I mean, that's one of the reasons I, I got a camcorder is because my phone, you know, constantly will pretty much when the screen shuts off, that's it. That, that's when it stops. I have to, I have to do certain things for it to record for more than three or four minutes. Cause like I said, once the screen goes off, it stops recording. And, uh, so it has to end up being plugged in a power source and I have to turn it in airplane mode because if I got a text message or anything, it stops recording, which is one of my biggest headaches when I've been trying to record with the phone. Not to mention the image stabilization just sucks. But um, anyway, that's uh, I think that's going to be it for this particular vlog. Um, I'll probably have more for in the next one. Obviously, uh, I'll be talking about my uh, my trip to uh, the Easy Rider bike show uh, down at the Columbus Convention Center. So. All right, this is me signing off. I hope everybody has a great day, has a great week, and I will catch you later.